Tonight, his friend and colleague Christopher Lee said, film goes the world over would grieve deeply. ITN's Adam Holloway reports. Professor Van Helsing, the Victorian gent who saved the world from the vampires and his partner, Christopher Lee. The film Dracula was the very essence of good against evil. It was my creation. Yes, a criminal lunatic. He tried to kill you. That's but to Peter Cushing, was... Baron Frankenstein was not really a baddie, just a doctor who got more ruthless as he encountered more difficulty getting bodies. It's what I've done that counts. I've created a being. In over 100 films, he became a huge British export. They were loved by millions for frightening the life out of them. But he didn't just make horror movies. Elementary, my dear Watson, there are no tarantulas in South Africa. No. With Sir John Mills as Dr Watson, the definitive Sherlock Holmes. One of the nicest men you could possibly meet Pay, played the nastiest parts. I think that was part of the... Out of the success of it, nobody could believe that he, he was like that. He was, a, he was a very marvellous man. Repelled by modern horror films, he was the man who portrayed, like no one else, darkness and light, saint and devil. There's nothing more for you to see. It's all over. The actor Peter Cushing, who died today. The perfect gentleman. His best-known screen partner, Christopher Lee, said tonight, I've lost a wonderful friend. Filmgoers loved him because he scared them witless. Peter Cushing's acting during the domination of Hammer films is what most will remember him for. Sometimes he played the good guy like Dr. Van Helsing in Dracula, but he also played the bad like Baron Frankenstein. His partnership with Christopher Lee extended beyond the silver screen to a lifelong friendship. I, I just wanted to become an actor because I think it's rather like if you want to become a nurse or, or, or um, something you're born with. You're born with something to do, like you do your job yeah. superbly. Um, and if you can't do it, you're frustrated. You must get it out, yeah. out, out, out of you. His first big break towards stardom was, surprisingly enough, in television. But he made it to Hollywood with an unusual helping hand. And I hadn't got the money to get there. Mm. So I asked my dear dad if he had lent it to me, or give it to me, rather, which he did. But um, he gave me a ticket to Hollywood, you see. But it was one way. Ah. Uh, he thought I could swim home. Yes. <laughs> I, he was diagnosed as having cancer 12 years ago, but appeared to confound the doctors. And despite being told the seriousness of his condition, he maintained a sense of reality. I don't think uh, I was three score year and ten, and don't forget I've gone over six. I mean, I'm on borrowed well on time way, anyway. Yeah. Um, it doesn't just end there. Yeah. Can't do. What a yeah. waste if it did. But of the hundred movies Peter Cushing made, only twenty or so were spine chillers. You should have that attended to. I'll be all right. On the contrary, without immediate attention, it could develop into something quite unpleasant. But what's horror for one is an honor for others. Peter Cushing was made an OBE for services to the film industry.